Hello guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How's it going? I hope you guys are having a great day. And I wanted to start the week off with a artist I haven't heard in a while. His name is Jacob Collier. And when I first started his channel, this was, I think he was one of the first artists that I reacted to. And I really liked him. And for some reason, maybe because I'm always trying to do people's requests or whatever, this, he kind of fell off my radar, and I was looking at some of my older videos, and I'm like, you know what? i got to do some of his videos again. So I'm doing one called Summer Rain, and I think the song has been out a while, but they released a new version of it under the title of The Mahogany uh, Sessions. So let's go ahead and listen to this and uh, see what we got. I'm really looking forward to hearing him because last time I heard him, I was just blown away by how wonderful his singing was and his artistry behind the song. So let's see what's going on here. Here we go. Told you, mahogany sessions. <laughs> That's kind of a neat setting. Two heartbeats on the floor, candle lighting, angels in my door, no silver. This is Shadows really pretty. On the wall, borderline. I thought they'd never fall. Worlds collide, and I don't catch a wave, my song rain. I can't breathe without you. I can't bleed without you Um, okay, sorry. We're going to let it go a little longer. Okay, I am way further into this song than I wanted to. I was going to stop, and then I heard her kind of kick in. I'm like, okay, hold on a second. I want to hear her as well before I give my initial thoughts on this. Do you guys ever hear, I mean, immediately what came to mind, do you guys ever hear the band named, gosh, I hope I don't have this wrong. I think it was Hem, H-E-M. I don't think it was him. I think it was Hem. I used to listen to them quite a while ago, and they had this kind of, 
I don't know what type of sound, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of this. But wow, this was so incredibly good. And this is another one where you guys just got to listen to headphones because the sound that's kind of echoing through that building, really, you hear it in the headphones a lot. And I'm not sure you would pick it up just under normal speakers. So, okay. So after, with that said, <laughs> it's after hearing this, it's really clear. It's been way too long since I listened to um, this guy. He is um, extremely talented and he has this sound that is so incredibly unique that I just don't hear on anyone else. He, it's the way he brings the air out as he's singing is just so smooth. It's just not like, bam, here's a note. It kind of just flows out and it's so interesting to listen to. No need to say this, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this song. Listening to this, I think, at like a high level, if you were just kind of quickly listening to this, you would probably think that it's relatively simple, a simple song. But you look deeper, and there are so many layers to this. It goes beyond just some simple, pretty-sounding song. It's just so much more. It's like a not to get sound too dramatic, but it's almost like a piece of art. It's like he's painting with this musical brush and just not only letting us hear what he's singing, but also somehow feel it. And it's at those different levels of impact on us that just really makes the song really special. When you listen to this, um, to kind of continue on that, it's something just kind of flows over you and it kind of puts your entire heart and soul into the song that that female singer which i'm glad i held out because i wanted to say something about her i think her name is madison don't hold me to that i'm not familiar with her but i think her name is madison has such an angelic sound to her voice doesn't she it kind of reminds me of a cross between definitely alison krauss definitely alison krauss sound to it and maybe on the other end of the spectrum maybe a little Joni mitchell so between the two of them you get Madison. <laughs> so, all right, let's listen to the end of this. This is amazing. Uh, let's finish this off. But every night I feel so tired wow. But I can't sleep Without you That is sick. That is just so crazy good. Wow. Um, again, did you hear that with his voice? You know, some artists start singing and it's kind of starts maybe at their vocal cords. Now, I swear his sound starts down in his chest and just flows out. And you hear that all the way up is through. Oh, look, I'm throwing things out of focus. Uh Okay, still out of focus. White hands. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> but anyways, his voice is uh, just wonderful and such a great delivery in his singing. The emotion just pours out of the song. And I love the line where he said something along, don't quote me to this, I'm so tired, but I still can't sleep or something like that. We have all been there. At least I have so much running through your mind, you know, especially like, the classic breakups and stuff like that. So much running through your mind. And it's exhausting. Um, 
and it's so exhausting that you just have a hard time sleeping through it. It's it's makes these lyrics just really powerful because I can relate to them. Anytime a lyrics are relatable, it just really just hits you that much more. Speaking of that, I think this the lyrics of the song are just so heartbreaking. We are seeing all sides of a situation like this, though, which is interesting. It's beautiful music, but painful, emotionally deep lyrics. Again, keeps it all very interesting. And on top of that, the harmonies, um, especially at the end there, if you're watching and paying attention, they were really quite complex. And you don't hear that too often. Hearing this blending of voices like they did it's really something i wish we heard more often because you just don't okay let me do this i have a lot to say about this let me get my headphones off and we're going to be back for final thoughts but it's probably going to be a good number of final thoughts because i have a lot to say about this hold on i'll be right back welcome back to final thoughts good lord that was crazy you know one of the reasons i started this channel because i felt that the current music that i was hearing just had really gone down the toilet in like a big way. And then you hear something like this. It's like, oh my gosh, the passion uh, behind this song was simply incredible. I am taking this song and I'm trying to summarize it and trying to come up with a good way to summarize it. I'm kind of just taking this as someone who truly misses someone else. And that, that creates this painful longing. Is that what you're kind of taking out of it? That's that's my take, at least. And this song takes those powerful emotions that it definitely creates and just really expresses them in an incredible way. Love this. Love this. You could almost sense the tension building pretty much as the song went on. The further we got into it, and the more the harmonizing was kicking in. I think the, the mandolin started playing a little heavier. That just all kind of built everything up, and it really made just such an interesting song. There is no doubt that there will be some people after listening to this that they're going to be really um, caught up in a song and can really relate to what was being said, and tears will be shed at some point. Um, you know what? This was definitely a moment. It was like a delicacy listening to the song. It was very moving, and definitely this is what I think collaboration should sound like. You know, I do a lot of this when I talk. I can see myself in the camera. I blame my mom, the Italian side, because we got to do this when we talk. <laughs> um, um, anyways, the harmonies definitely remind me of what harmony should sound like, in my opinion. Now, regarding the setting, it looks like they're in a church or a chapel or something like that. Whatever it is, great choice. And whoever was the engineer or whoever was responsible for the mixing of this and a recording of this and stuff like that. Um, they did an amazing job. They created a brilliant, brilliant masterpiece here. Looking over the entire song, I think there were several keys that I think they really elevated the song to the next level. One was the harmonies. Oh, just amazing. Just beautiful. And then there were three of them just blending so incredibly well. Then there was the mandolin. Now, some people, I have a feeling, are going to say that maybe the mandolin was over powerful that maybe it distracted a little bit for the song i'm in total disagreement with that but i'm kind of anticipating something like that this was a slow song and i think in order to keep the song moving and progressing it needed some type of driving force and i think that mandolin did that quite well i also like the split lyrics and the vocals of the song it kind of you're kind of seeing two sides of the story which really really made it interesting to me and finally like i already said that engineering the amazing sound quality we're listening to here just made it wonderful. Again, I have to stress, uh, I think the guy's name is Chris. I'm sorry, I don't know his last name. He was from uh, Nickel Creek. I was going to say Cripple Creek. Cripple Creek, Colorado, one of my favorite places to go. But he was from Nickel Creek, the band, and he was the guy playing the mandolin. And that, to me, like I said, it just added so much to the song. It just kept the song moving forward. It was almost dare I say, like the driving force to the song. So I just really thought that was important. Do you know what was wrong with this though? You just don't hear enough music like this. That's the problem. To me, I'll be honest, I think the attire was a little questionable, but I'm okay with that. It didn't take away anything as far as the music, as far as um, I'm concerned. But the, 
if I'm going to say a negative, the the attire was a bit questionable. That's it. Other than that, amazing, amazing song, and I can't be waiting this long for my next Jacob Collier reaction. Just an amazing artist. Okay, guys, I hope you like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you would click that notification bell, that way you'll be notified anytime I release some new content. Okay. Only life is priceless. Make each and every day count. God bless you all. Peace out. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.